This is a video guide on how to terminate a Canary Micro BNC onto coax using our tooling. For this example, we will be terminating the three-piece Micro BNC. Most of our crimp connectors follow the same termination procedure. You'll need the TS100 coax stripper and our TC1 crimp tool along with the appropriate die. Please refer to our catalog or contact us if you're unsure of which die you need for your connector. A pair of flush cutters would also be handy. An important note when cutting the cable is to cut as square as possible, not like on a sharp angle. This will ensure that the coax will sit flush to the clear stopper. Take the stripper and press the yellow tab to open. Make sure it is clear of any debris from previous use. You can store up to five different cable settings on the cam. The blade depths on this tool are adjustable to accommodate other cables. We'll get into that in a future video. For this example, we'll use the preset for the cable we are using. Insert the coax until you are flush with the clear stopper. Close the tool. Grip the handle and make sure you lightly squeeze the two spring-loaded sides so the cable will not spin. Rotate the tool seven to ten times forward. Press down on the yellow lever and pull the coax out. Measure the length of the center conductor and make sure it is 3.5 millimeters. Slide on the crimp sleeve. This would be a good time to probably remove the outer jacket as well. Flare out the braided shield. Remove the foil shield. Take the center pin and put it over the center conductor. Make sure the base of the pin is sitting flush with the dielectric. Use the smallest cavity on the crimp tool to crimp down on the center pin. You're going to want to crimp this as far back as possible. Take the body of the connector and slip it over the center pin. The connector should lock into place. Give it a light pull to make sure it is locked. Slide the crimp sleeve over the body of the connector, or the back of it, and then we just crimp. For this particular one, we'll use the middle cavity. And this is how you crimp our micro BNC. And remember, this works for all of our other connectors as well.